Welcome to Little Bighorn Treasure Hunting Sources 38, continuing Sitting Bull's history. Sitting Bull Slow was very active fighting against the enemy Indian tribes, as well as the Wasichus, the white people. He sought with great interest the counsel and visions from Wakantanka, God. Sitting Bull Slow did many sun dances and sacrificed pieces of flesh often as well as many other offerings to his God. I wonder if he met Wakanika like, like Nicholas Black Elk did in his vision, standing by the flowering tree. The reason I ask this question is like in Mel Gibson's movie, The Passion of Christ, Jesus was scourged, sacrificing bits of his flesh with all his visions in relation with Wakantankan. Sitting Bull may have felt this was a similar sacrifice for his people's welfare and safety, which was always, always the most important and at the top of his list when he prayed and gave sacrifices. Regardless, his spiritual side was the most important part of his life. The Indian warriors carried objects for good luck and safety. Many times stones were used and needed to be carried in battle. Crazy Horse is known for the the quartz stone with his name and gold given to him by Wakan Tonka. He always carried it under his armpit. Sitting Bull Slow also had his stone as well as a fossilized shell that he carried with him all the time in his medicine bag. In the book, Oral History of the Dakota Tribes from 1800s to 1945 by Colonel A.B. Welch, in chapter two, and I'll read a quote from it. This object was generally revealed to the Indians in dream and often it, it was an animal. Turtles, bears, hawks, wolves, and other creatures of the same habitat as the Indians are examples. The skin, teeth, or claws, horns, hooves, or other part of the animal was carried closely with the person and hung up in the lodge. And in many cases, the eating of flesh or killing of that particular animal became taboo to its owners. Stones of various sizes were also a common medium of religious sentiment. He goes on to say in his book, The Colonel, in the medicine bags of the notorious medicine man, Sitting Bull, are two stones. One is a petrified shell and the other is a small, black, smooth pebble. They were part of his medicine or charms, through which he worked his power and influence. Now here are pictures of them, and they're owned by Wendell Grandgard, which he may be putting up for sale. All other artifacts are owned by me in the videos, unless I say otherwise. They belong to me, I work for them, and they're mine. Sitting Bull's fame, <coughs> Sitting Bull's fame grew and was elected Supreme Commander War Chief in 1869 or 1870. See the video part 11 for that history. After the 1868 Fort Laramie Treaty was signed ending the Red Cloud Wars, the freer hunting tribes who did not sign the treaty or take part in the temporizing, remember that because I'm going to talk about that again, continued to live in the Great Sioux Reservation in complete freedom until gold was discovered in the Black Hills. So that's it on that history. I'll be showing more of the, um, the items next time. Thank you again for listening. God bless. Bye-bye.